How's it going ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike from Poketips Official and today I'm going to be telling you an easy way to get good breeding dittos in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. What makes these dittos great are they have set natures and set IVs so you can use them very easily in breeding. When you arrive at Kony Kony City, you can partake in a quest line dealing with five mischievous ditto. Basically, five ditto have replaced citizens of Kony Kony City and it's up to you to stop them. To complete the mission, you can either defeat them or capture them, but I am urging you to capture them because they have very, very nice stats. Doing this quest line will allow you to get a ditto that's bold nature so it raises the defense with max defense IVs, so a perfect 31 in defense, an adamant nature with a 31 attack IV, a modest nature with a 31 special attack IV, a timid nature with a perfect 31 speed IV, and a jolly nature once again with a perfect 31 speed IV. That part is guaranteed with your ditto. Now in addition to that, these dittos all seem to have an IV that's either 0 or 30, in at least 2 but sometimes 3 different stats. With IVs and natures like that, that guaranteed, these dittos are extremely useful in breeding because they have great natures which you could pass on to the offspring, come with at least one perfect IV in that primary stat, and they also have those 0 or 30 IVs which are very useful if you are trying to breed for a specific hidden power type. Now if that's not enough of a reason for you to do this questline, you need something else added to it, you also get 100,000, 100,000 Poke Dollars for completing this questline, and the whole questline in total only takes about 10 to 15 minutes, so this is definitely something you are going to want to do. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. But before we start, I do have a quick tip for you since we will be battling 5 dittos. Before you go on the hunt for ditto, I recommend you go back to Pokemon Trainer School and and catch yourself a Zoroa. The reason for that is Zoroa's ability Illusion is the perfect ditto counter. When Zoroa's ability Illusion is up and active, Transform will fail every single time. Ditto's a pretty smart and crafty Pokemon, but it can't transform into a Pokemon that's hiding behind an Illusion. So because Transform only has 10 PP, that means you have 10 turns to do whatever you want with this ditto. You could throw Pokeballs at it, you could try and weaken it, and you have 10 turns where this ditto can't touch you at all and then you'll be able to catch it very very easily. Now the only bad thing about this method is if you're catching the Zoroa specifically for this ditto, the Zoroas at the Pokemon Trainer School are going to be a bit under leveled compared to the dittos. The dittos you'll find at level 29 so you might need to train up the Zoroa just a little bit so it will be able to do some damage to the ditto. However if you're stubborn like me you can just throw Pokeballs at these dittos until they get caught and I used a combination of Quick Balls and Dusk Balls since I was playing at night and I was always able to catch these dittos within the 10 turns before it started to use Struggle. Alright, so now that we know all about these amazing breeding dittos, let's go ahead and get them. So you're going to want to head over to Kony Kony City and go to Route 9 and enter the police station. So to start off this quest line, go ahead and talk to this guy in the back, or should I say Pokemon, because he's actually not a police officer. He or it is a ditto. So normally you could fulfill the requirements of this quest line by either knocking out or capturing the dittos, but like I said earlier, the whole point of this is you want to catch those dittos because they are going to have the great natures and the great IVs so do your best to go ahead and capture them. Alright and now is a good opportunity to see what I was talking about about that Zoroa before. So the ditto is going to try and transform but it is going to fail so you get 10 free turns because ditto only knows transform so it is just going to try over and over and over again but it is never going to work if you just keep Zoroa out so this makes dittos very easy to capture. Alright so now that we capture that first ditto we can continue. A ditto was disguised as my partner. Are the ditto 5 responsible for this? The ditto 5 loves humans so much that they transform into humans. They are very troublesome. They mean no harm, but they mess up people's relationships, so they registered as wanted Pokemon. Really, ditto is messing up relationships. But where in the world did my partner go? By any chance, the ditto. What could ditto do to your partner? Ah, there he is. Thank you for finding out that ditto was disguised as my partner. Take this as thanks. And by the way, this is great for money. You get a lot of money from completing this whole mini quest line over here. Lately in Kony Kony City, there are sightings of people who might actually be Ditto. I'm investigating the cases. You found out my partner was actually a Ditto. It would be reassuring if I could get your help. So we'll say yes and continue on with the quest line. 
Really, of course, I'll reward you for your cooperations. So let's go ahead and move on to the next ditto. Now, the first ditto, or actually technically this is the second ditto. So the second ditto that you are going to hunt down is actually going to be in Kony Cody City. And it is going to be the shopkeeper over here. So we're going to talk to him. He's the nice little backpacker guy. And talk to him, and then he'll say, duh, and then titto. And then you'll enter into another battle with yet another ditto. What? The herb seller was a ditto? No wonder his interactions with customers were bizarre. Although its appearance may be exactly the same, it can't speak a word. Thank you for dealing with the ditto. This is a reward for you. And 16,000 Poké Dollars. Pretty awesome. Keep investigating, so now it is on to number three. Now the third ditto is the infamous ditto. This is the one with the chef ditto glitch. If you have not seen my chef ditto glitch video, go check it out. It is a very crazy glitch. So when you go ahead and start this, make sure that you come all the way up to the front and talk to this guy. Do not talk to him from over here, otherwise a glitch will happen. So talk to him right from the front and then he'll say duh and then titto and then you will enter the battle with the third ditto. So go ahead and make sure you capture this one as well. What? Ditto was disguised as a chef in the restaurant? No wonder the flavors have been different lately. Ditto was cooking. Thank you for dealing with the Ditto. This is a reward for you. This makes me wonder, do you think Ditto would be a good cook? Ditto number four will be right in the front of Coney Coney City. You're going to want to talk to the lady in the nice dress over here, but I think you know what I'm about to say at this point. That's no lady. That's a Ditto! What? The massage therapist at the Lomi Lomi massage place was a Ditto? So a Ditto was giving people Lomi Lomi massages? Of course. If Ditto with such a melty body gave you a massage, the stiffness in your body would just melt away too. Thank you for dealing with the Ditto. Here is a reward for you. And 24,000 Poké Dollars. Keep on investigating the Ditto. I'm counting on you. So the last Ditto, the final Ditto, the baddest Ditto in all of Ditto Town will be located all the way back at the end of Coney Coney City if you just keep running straight. And when you get there, you will see Island Kahuna Olivia. But by now, you know what the deal is. That's not Island Kahuna Olivia. That is the final Ditto that we will be catching today. And congratulations, you caught all five of the Ditto 5, and you now have a complete set of amazing breeding Dittos. So before you finish it up, make sure you go back to the police station and collect your reward. What? The person who was gazing at the sea was actually a Ditto, not Olivia? Watching her from behind like that, with her sadness seeming the blow in the Alolan breeze, I was certain that was Olivia. Thank you for dealing with the ditto. This is a reward for you and 28,000 Poké Dollars. Time to go on a shopping spree. In addition to the money and the dittos, you also get the focus band from completing this quest line. And the focus band is not a great item because I think it only has a 10% chance of actually activating. But when it activates, it lets you survive a hit from a move that would normally knock you out. That sounds great, but with a 10% chance, it doesn't really happen that often and it's not that reliable. So, now that we've captured all the dittos, let's go take a look at the dittos that I caught. Alright, so let's go ahead and check out these dittos that I caught over here. Starting off with the Bold Nature one, we have that perfect IV in defense, as well as three really good IVs of 30 in HP, special attack, and special defense. Very nice. This one over here is the Jolly, and that has that jolly good IV in speed, as well as in defense and special attack. Moving on to the Adamant one over here, perfect IV in attack, and then really good and then 30 IV in defense and speed. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Moving on to the modest nature. We have that perfect IV in special attack, good IV in special defense, and an IV of zero in attack and HP. Again, very good for hidden powers. And last but not least, we're gonna have the timid nature ditto over here with the perfect IV in speed and three IVs of 30 in HP, attack, and special defense. Now the other IVs do vary, but they will all come with that that one guaranteed 31 IV in the stats that I've shown over here. So you definitely need to go and catch these dittos. They are going to be very, very useful in Pokemon breeding and they will definitely help you out. So I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I post lots and lots of Pokemon tutorials just like this that I know you are going to love. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you have a great day and I will be seeing you in the next one.